Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen, whipping it up, whip, whip, whipping it up. Tonight I'm going to be making the uh, jackfruit pot roast. Um, I actually seen this recipe from Tabitha Brown, um, but I put my own little spin on it. I'm going to be using, of course, the jackfruit, um, squash, some zucchini, some celery, some carrots. Also, if you don't know how to preserve carrots, you can cut them down and put them in water and put them in the refrigerator and they actually last longer than they would if you just put them in straight in the refrigerator. Um, some peppers. I got all four types. Red, orange, yellow, green. I'm going to add some mushrooms. I use the vegetable broth to help with the juices and the flow. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is drain my jackfruit and rinse it off. Okay, so I drain the fruit and I just rinse it off real fast and I don't really have to do anything to it, just add it into the pot. Um, I'm going to use the veggie stock as juice. Um, you can add some water if you want to, but it's really good with just the veggie stock. Um, you're going to see me use two different kinds because one kind is already open. Um, I told you which veggies I had. I already cut them up. But I'm going to tell you one more time because I forgot to add some, but I have squash. And... Zucchini and carrots and peppers, the yellow, red, green, and orange, and celery and mushrooms. And onions. And finally, red potatoes. Okay, I'm already going to start mixing it around what I can. And I'm also going to add some more veggie stock and start to season it. Now this takes, I actually um, do like Tabitha and cook it for eight hours on low overnight. So I'm gonna add some ginger. Some coconut aminos. Some oregano, some onion powder, some cilantro, some thyme. Turmeric, a little sea salt, not too much. 
garlic and herb. Paprika. A little better than bouillon. It's a vegetable base. They have different kinds. I think it's like chicken and vegetable. Um, but this one is the vegetable base. Not too much. And I'm going to add some more veggie stock. Okay, now that everything's in, just gonna mix it all together so that my seasoning kind of gets to the bottom and then some of my jackfruit comes to the top because I put all my jackfruit on the bottom. And I'll probably add just a little bit more veggie broth. gonna put the top on and let it start to cook it's just that simple um, as you know most crock pots do all the work so let's let the crock pot do its job and I'll see you back in eight hours all right good morning it's been eight and a half almost nine hours actually and this is what it looks like. Now you can see the color has changed. Everything's completely cooked. Everything's completely soft. Um, the jackfruit actually starts to tear apart by itself. Um, kind of like, you know, beef or chicken or anything like that. Um, you actually could have broken the jackfruit down. It's all a preference. However, this is it. Looks delicious, tastes delicious. Um, you can eat it with rice or quinoa or mashed potatoes, whatever you prefer. And that's it. Cooking in the kitchen with Jamika. Cooking in the kitchen with Jamika. Hey. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tap in, subscribe, like, share, and comment.